hi i'm mangesh welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video i'm going to cover delete statement in previous video we have started learning dml statements where we have covered some practice example of insert and update in this video i'm going to cover delete statement truncate statement and we will see what is the use of commit rollback and save point which is a missed in a, a previous video so let's start practice uh, practice practical session of uh, delete so let me jump to my database this is what my table select start from emp under emp i have all these record so what did it will when delete will come in the picture to delete some records from the table if i want to delete all the records then i will use delete statement if i want to delete some particular records then i will use delete statement or if i want to delete any single row from the table then i will use delete statement now in this table i have some people uh, one person whose name is king I want to delete all these three records so how i will delete it i will use delete after delete we need to use from keyword and after from we need to give the table name my table name is emp1 and uh, here i will give the condition in where clause i need to declare that value which you rows you want to delete suppose i finish my query here so it will delete all the records see 10 records got deleted which i have done wrong see select star from pmp1 look at the output i have deleted all the rows if you have done the wrong then use rollback to undo the eml changes see rollback complete and i got my records back select star from pmp1 now uh actually uh, i have added some record also with the help of insert statements i have added few records in this table and uh, after that i have not used the commit reason all those records also got deleted so this record i have added in this table insert into emp1 values 100 then uh, name was king uh, these are the characters no? it will come in single quotation mark so uh, department id is a uh, 50 then salary is a uh, 9000 and higher date i'm putting as a sys date so this record i have inserted i have changed the employee ID to 123 again i have executed 124 again i have executed now look at the output of the table see i have again my 10 records back in the same table and let me use commit other if i will not use commit then uh, it will not get saved and i will use rollback then see you have not saved it whatever changes you have done rollback will undo all the all those changes so now those 10 records got saved successfully select star from emp we have learned how to remove all the records if we will miss the where clause then it will delete all the records from the table but i want to delete only one record whose employee is a 101 that record i want to delete so similarly you need to write down the sql statement like this delete from emp1 under where clause you need to give the your uh, condition where emp underscore id is equal to 101 now what will happen whose employee is a 101 all those records will get deleted monkish will also get deleted and this person will also get deleted oh yes so there are two records whose employee is a 101 and all those two will get deleted with the help of this sql query if i want to delete only single rajesh so i will give 111 this it will delete it only one row and that is rajesh one you can see select star from tab oh sorry emp1 now look at the output see that record got deleted instead of 111 if i will use 101 it will delete two record because i have a two people whose employee is a 101 let me highlight that both so this two record will get deleted with the help of this query see i have executed this and i get the message that uh, two records got deleted you can see here also those two records got deleted and you have not used commit yet so if you'll do the rollback it will undo the all the 
HTML changes. So next, we have truncate also in the picture because most probably people will ask you what is the difference between delete and truncate. So with the help of delete, you can delete all the rows, you can delete single rows or you can delete multiple rows also. Okay, if I want to delete this king, so what I will use delete from EMP1 where employee name is equal to king. So all these three records will get deleted. I want to delete the records whose salary more than 10,000. Accordingly, you need to give the condition over here. So similarly, that records will get deleted from your table. So delete you should delete single row also, multiple row also, or all the rows from the table. Whereas truncate will not delete single or because in truncate, you cannot use where clause. Truncate is a straightforward statement. So let me use truncate statement here. Truncate table EMP one. Now after using these statements, it will also give the same output like this. It will also give the delete from EMP. It deleted all the rows. Okay, and you cannot see now select star from EMP one. All rows got deleted. You can do the rollback because you are using DML because trunk is a DML statements where rollback will work easily. See, I have done the rollback. So again, I got my rows back. EMP one. See all those because I have not used commit. That's the reason all records came back. So what truncate will do truncate will delete all these records and it is auto commit. Once you use truncate statements, you don't need to use commit and it cannot be rolled back also. So to delete the records, then delete is the right option because if you have done the mistake, then you can roll back easily. But if you have used truncate, then you will not able to roll back anything. So let me create one practice table under that practice table. Uh, we will do the practice of truncate because let I need this table again for the practice purpose. That's the reason I will not delete this. We need to cover that uh, save point wala chapter also. So with the help of uh, subquery, I'm creating one table actually. Select star from EMP one. Uh, let me see. I'll give the okay, this is what my sub query I am using under my select statement. See table practice got created. So I have similar data in uh, both table actually. This is a create table statement create table table name is this and this is a sub query I have used under my create statement. Okay, we will uh, see this thing again while learning the create statement. So let me jump to my practical example. I have a EMP one table also, which is my table and I have a practice table also. Similar table. Okay. If I have used truncate table practice, it will delete all the rows. Okay, and you see select star from practice. It is there. Now you cannot see anything here. It also you it also deleted all the rows from your table and uh, you cannot roll back this thing because it's an auto commit. Uh, make sure guys DDL statements are auto. It's an auto commit and you cannot roll back commit roll back and save point only works in DML. So now I'm using roll back, but uh, it no changes happens this table is already deleted okay so delete and truncate delete also used to delete all the rows truncate is also used to delete all the rows in delete you can use where clause in truncate you cannot use where clause delete is a dml statement truncate is a ddl statement so these are the difference major difference available in both statements and uh, this is very important point because rollback will not work in truncate rollback will work in uh, delete statement it's a dml one 
and uh, to save the dml changes you need to use commit but in truncate you don't need to use commit it's auto commit so this is what the major difference between delete and truncate uh, i wanted to cover one more topic that is a save point why save point will come in the picture uh, you have seen that i have done some uh, multiple dml tasks but i forgot to use commit statement if i have used rollback see i have used insert statement then i have used update statement update query and then i have used delete query delete if i i'll do the rollback why because i have done mistake over here in this statement i have done the mistake so obviously if you have done the mistake then you need to do the rollback so rollback what will do rollback will do undo the all the previous changes all the previous changes because i have not used commit here i have not used commit rollback will undo all the previous changes so what save point will do save point will help you to give the marker of after every dml statement suppose i have used one insert statement insert then i have given save point marker like save point a i have update one more record and i have given save point b then i have given uh, one more insert i have given save point c if i have found that i have done mistake here so instead of roll back everything i just need to use this statement like this i just need to use roll back to save point a so it will undo these changes only and my first statement and second statement will be safe i have done mistake only in third one so i need to use rollback to save point b so till save point b i can easily do the rollback okay so this this is safe this is safe and the third one which you have done wrong it will the it will go in the undo so in this way you can use save point which is a marker and um, save point is a marker after every dml statement we can give save point marker save point a save point b save point c save point d if you have done mistake in save point d instead of roll back everything i will use only roll back to save point c so my first statements which i have used which are the correct it will not get undo so this is what the use of save point one so guys i'm closing my video here i don't want to make very lengthy video so try practice at your end and in next video we will learn how to create a table how to create a table with the help of subquery and i would like to introduce some more database objects in our future video so continue watching this video see you again thanks for watching